Gaston, words by Kelly DiPuccio, pictures by Christian Robinson. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies, Fifi, Fofo, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fofo, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Mrs. Poodle thought so, too. The puppies grew, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches. They were taught to sip, never slobber. Good, well done. Very nice. Nice try. They were taught to yip, never yap. Yip, 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 rough. And they were taught to walk with grace, never race. Tip toe, tippy toe. Whoa! The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink nibble their kibble, and ride in style. Whatever the lesson, Gaston always worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all her puppies, Fifi, Fofo, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll in public. There was so much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh, dear. What do we have here? Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Would you like to see them again? Rocky, Ricky... Bruno, and Antoinette. This was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see that there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. Antoinette yapped. And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There. That looked right. It just didn't feel right. That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Phooey! On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but he did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. Ick, he said. Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. Mrs. Bulldog was already there waiting with her burly brood. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Wee oui, wee, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time trading places. There. That looked right, and it felt right, too. From that day forward, the families met in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Likewise, Fifi, Fofo, Ooh La La, and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be.